I receive your clapping as my welcome. I thank God for the beautiful church and the beautiful people of God. I really thank God I'm partnering with the church last 24 years. Almost two and a half decade, I am associating with Glad Tidings. Many times I never knew all, but I know definitely you will be praying for India missions and also other missions feel where your church is going. God bless you all. We look into God's word and also we will put our thought and mind towards the word of God. Definitely God will challenge you to come to India in other nations to go. God bless you. I'm saying this time, a lot of youngsters are here. I challenge you, the youngsters, get ready. And the mission field is ready for you. The mission field is welcoming you, you to come and bless the nations. Many people think that the mission started on the day of Pentecost. Some say that it is started from the Great Commission. Others say the mission started on the day of God's incarnation. But Christian mission started in the heart of God. It is from the Lord. It is from the very heart of God. John Stott, the Christian writer and the theologian, he says, our God is a missionary God. Lord Jesus is a missionary savior. Holy Spirit is a missionary spirit. God himself is active in the missions. The Bible, the mission book, Every pages of the Bible contains an account of the missions. You can say amen for that. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, you may ask, what is mission all about? What is the mission call all about? The mission call is God call man, where are you? In that point, the mission began. And also, God called Israel to be witnessed as my missionary people. The biggest step and longest travel have ever taken place in the world. Jesus came from throne room to the cross of Calvary. In other words, I can say, Jesus is the first missionary all the way from heaven to earth. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So our God has given a model because he is a first missionary. You may ask me, what is mission? The mission to announce the arrival demonstrates the reality and extend in the influence of the kingdom of God. In the mission as an announcement, the kingdom of God is near belief and repentance. Believers, let me tell you, you have a mission. God has a mission. You all have a mission and the mission is talking about Christ to unknown. Jesus defeated three things in the cross of Calvary. Number one, Satan. You know, Satan is our arch enemy. God defeated at the cross of Calvary. And two, the sin. Number three, death. He conquered death. We have a message in our hand. We have a message of Christ in our hand. Church, this is a time you and me to go and say, Lord, I am here as your ambassador. Send me to this nation. What was the mission of Jesus? To announce the arrival, 
demonstrate the reality of the influence of the kingdom of God. When Jesus came to this world, the kingdom of God inaugurated. Already it is not yet. We are expecting Jesus will be coming back soon. We are all expecting his arrival. The first arrival he came and he born and died for you and me. Now he is going to come as a king. In between, God given a great task, you and me to work on behalf of him as a preacher, as a teacher of the gospel, as an ambassador of him. Let us go to this world. Let us challenge this world with the gospel. Our God is God of missionary. The demonstration began from where? The demonstration of the gospel began from the church itself. From you, in you, it starts. The power of God's preserve will make the difference in the life of paper. Your life and your testimony is important. You may ask, what kind of testimony I can carry? The mission has extended the influence of the kingdom of God manifested in Christ. That is testimony to all the nations. You have the message in your hand. You have a Bible in your hand. And what else you want? Go and preach. God will fill your mouth with a great message. You should not stay here and comfort yourself. God is asking you and me go and prepare the way of coming of Jesus Christ. Every church members, every believers, I request you, I challenge you. This is the time we have to go and step down to the people and say, we have a savior. The savior of the world is coming. And also, when you say, Lord, I have a message, then God will say to you, our God appoints you. I appoint you. God sends you. God commissions you. And that is called God's call. Let me put you in this simple way. God appointed you to preach the word. God appointed you and me to go and preach the evangelism. And also God sending you, you know where? Where the gospel not been preached. There are so many groups, unreached group in this world. You come to India, I will show you the people. I'll identify the people where you go and do the ministry. Maybe some other nations may challenge you where the unreached people. They are, you cannot see them as a people, as a physically, see them as a precious soul. Stop the hell. Stop the gates of the hell. And say, there is a hope for everyone. Let me tell you this wonderful morning. Lord, I am ready in which way I can go. There is nothing, Lord. Go and sit down in the room and pray. Ask God. He will tell you where to go, which nation to hit off. Today is the time. Mission is not a human project. Rather, it is God's project. The greatest missionary is also our partner. Our partner is not Kaitriding. The partner is not someone else. In the partner is not your physical husband or wife or spouses. Our partner is our God. Amen. Our God is our partner. You can say yes to that. Amen. Amen. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 says, The Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because they are slave drives. And I am concerned about their sufferings. So I have come down 
to rescue them from the hand of Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into the good and spacious land, the land flowing with milk and honey. The message is very clear. The mission is always required from you is rescuing people from the bondage. Let us take a word. Lord, you send me. So many people are dying in this world without you. What is my responsible? Lord, I don't want to be as the room. I don't want to be in the comfortable zone. I want to go and meet the people, touch the people wherever the opportunity is given to me. The opportunity is wide open. Wide open. You can contact mission pastor or Michael Aya or the senior pastor. Tell them, pastor, I would like to go to India or other nations. What is the way? They will gladly welcome you. They will register your name. They will put you a good flight. And we will be ready to receive you in India. Amen. Amen. You may not say that, wow, pastor, such opportunities are there. Yes, I challenge youngsters. You come. You bring your talents. So to the people, sing. Play with them. Talk to them. Be with them as a, as, a, as a friend, as a minister, as a partner. Definitely, I will tell you, God will bless you. So respond to that. What is your response? You may say, yes, I go. We go. Announcing gospel to the ethnic group. A demonstration of the gospel to the needy. Extending the gospel to the nations. This must be our slogan. Twelve country, your gladiating assemblies of God here is touching and hitting twelve nations. It is not a small thing. Twelve nations, catch up any one of them and go, study with them, talk to them, be with them and be a blessing to others. John chapter 4, 35. Don't you have saying, it is still four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the field. They are ripe for harvest. Lift up your eyes. The harvest is ready. When you talk about the chapter 4 of John, God is talking to, Jesus himself talking to the Samaritan woman. He finished his Galilean ministry. After that, he turned back to again to Galilee. He, able, he happened to come across Samaritan. Now, Samaria and the Samaritan is untouchable for these Jews. They don't like them. They don't want to eat with them. They don't want to talk to them. Even they don't want to touch them. This was a customary on those days. But our God, he broke such a barrier because our God is God of missions. When you look at the missions, you have to look at in this way. Look them into details. That is insight. When Jesus spoke to them, spoke to her, she asked her, who are you? Where you come from? Are you married? How many husbands do you have? That is an unusual question. If someone asks the question to you, anybody, how many wives do you have, means it is a little bit tough question. And suddenly someone asks, how many uh, husbands do you have, means it is an awkward question. No one liked it. Some men may be uh, happy about that, okay, how many wife I have two, okay, happy. You cannot be happy also like that. 
So when Jesus talked to them very carefully and asked every each details. When you are come to missions, you must know about the people. Let me challenge you. After my preaching, after my sermon, go home and think about it. What these pastors talking about the mission and other thing? Be there. God will touch anyone of the point to you to come to missions. Number two, foresight. Look at them from the distance. Jesus talking to her. After that, slowly Jesus able to understand that when I touch her, when I speak to her, definitely she will bring the whole community. When you talk about missions, keep in your mind, you are not touching any soul, you are touching the whole community. You are touching the whole tribe. You are touching unseen people, generation after generation. They will praise God. They will praise God. One touch is enough. One word is enough of your life. Your touch testimony is enough for them, the people to change. The life will be changed altogether. And along with number one, the call to awareness. Jesus talking to her, after that, he talking about the harvest. John chapter 4, 35. Don't you have saying, it's still four months until harvest. Now Jesus talking to them, talking to them, the saints, disciples. He talking to the disciples saying, now we have only four months. Those days, in the particular area, the country in those days, the farmer may also be using it to spread the news, have others spread the news that he is going to need help. What kind of help? The field is ready. The farmer say, hey, my field is ready, man. You can come and help me. Now, the field is ready for a plantation. You like to come, you come and you can help me also. I want to put you in this way. Any farmer going to cultivate anything on his ground, he will do few things. Number one, he will prepare the field. The field is world. The field is the community. The field is unreached group. The field is tribal. The field is the unknown people group you even never knew. The field. Number two, get ready with the quality seed. Every farmer having seed in their hand. They go and sow. The seed is there. What is seed? The word of God. Hallelujah. The seed is the word of God. God have given a field and the seed, then what else you want? Get ready. This is the time. Now, God is talking about here is the time. We don't have any other time. Our God is going to come back again. Within that, we have to work faster as you can. Our God is coming. Before he comes, we would say, Lord, I have saved so much of people. I have, I have people in my hand. I have conquered them. I have saved them. I have been a good pastor to them. I have been a, I have a good blessing to them. Take a challenge. And put fencing around. Any farmer, after sowing the seed, he will wait and put that as good fencing. And watering. And nurturing. And finally, harvesting. It takes four months. Go to the people. Encourage people. Saying that the field is ready. 
if you have to target people target the group which you have can go target friends target the people they never knew you or sometime the friends go to them talk to them and say here is a jesus jesus is the good news number 2 the look the urgency of the harvest john chapter 4 35 i tell you open your eyes and look at the field now we have, we spoke about the timing now god wants you and me to look how do you look there are four kinds of look look at me look inside what is the meaning of look, seeing inside when you meet someone else meet them and also you talk to them identify them who they are what kind of problem they are having it what kind of sickness going through what is important in particular time look at them read about them study about them speak about them then that became your burden lord give me a burden cry to god say lord i would like to go and meet the people send me i'm look back look back in the sense their background where they comes from their caste their uh, other activities what they doing look at them number 3 look around look around where is the possibilities let me tell you year 20 year 2000 glad trading mission team came to india the team of 16 members they all came that time i don't have proper house even i have not transferred one place to other the team came april 5th of 2000 i put them in a kind of hotel where they can stay but when i see on the your country i am seeing your rooms and your facility which you have uh, using it i am very sorry team <laughs> i put you guys in a very very bad rooms you know <laughs> you know what they been the next morning sister tina russell and other friends came full puncture everywhere everywhere mosquito bites <laughs> everywhere puncture they came and stood with me <laughs> i am very sorry about it then after one week of time our church born our church born i put them to every street go and do the ministry put the tracks give the tracks to everyone and in that that church been born we started with zero now we had nearly 400 members associating in our church thank you it is not me i know it is a purely god along the side it is ugt ugt family i salute you because your generous giving your generosity making trip tirelessly i thank god for the mission stream you are sending every time faithfully thank you thank you gt and you may say why they are coming again and again the question been asked why the team is coming in india the place is not good you will not get good water but i am giving good water when the team comes <laughs> i am giving them bottled water no clean toilets no 
good rooms the food you are blessed with the good food in your your people when you come to india we will give you sambar and chicken gravy and a little rice and dosa that's all we can't find any varieties you know what made them to come again and again the gospel jesus christ the people's heart the love of missions made them to again again the visit i thank god for the beautiful church let me tell you when you come there one small prayer of you touch the people of heart the small chat distributions touch the people's life your prayer when you pray god have touched so many heal so many they have come to the lord as a family as a group as a individual i thank god for the beautiful time you may ask what is the promise god have given john chapter 4 36 says even now the one who reaps draws a wage and the harvest a crop of eternal life harvesting also very hard it is hard work but the results are immediate and the joy is immediate there are two principle we have to understand from this portion is our responsibility is to be faithful and obedient witness for christ that is what he desires of us and that should bring us joy because our labors will not be in vain god will bring the harvest and we will be rewarded for our faithfulness number two principle when given the privilege of harvesting souls remember that others have prepared the way for us and that only god deserves the glory all the glory to god all the glory to god lord we thank you lord chosen me to go to different parts of the world lord thank you lord for the great commission you have written in the bible i am taking this as my personal word i commit this time i will go to the nation which god leads me along the side glad trading assemblies of god established in india 135 churches you are so much be proud of 135 churches in which way building the churches buying a piece of land to build a church and and the sponsoring pastors spending some uh, good amount of money for the bible school students supporting bible schools never think your money not been paid not been spent unnecessarily it is spent for the cause of missions amen. say big amen for that amen. i'm encouraging you your money you are giving your faithfulness it counts a lot now what is our response for this call our response you know the samaritan woman went all the way to sega the place called sega the samaritan town he went and told everyone jesus is there let us go and meet jesus today carry the bible carry the vision go come to us the land is full of crops full of harvest god wants you and me to bring the people to him billy graham says like this 
if god could use such a woman 2000 years before to bring a revival to the city of sega how much more can use you and me today if we put ourselves in his hand he can use us he can use you in the community in our town our city beyond our country today is your time let me challenge you tell god lord where i want to go i ready to go and meet you you know what happened the whole community came and the, along with the samaritan woman they said jesus you stay with us they all encourage jesus to stay with him they stayed jesus himself stayed two days a jew staying in the samaritan's house it is filthy untouchable even the community never likes it jesus broke the bondage jesus broke the system which the people followed jesus cut off the casteism jesus cut off this kind of uh, untouchability the idea of untouchability let me tell you he stayed with them he ate with them he went among with them he went around and spoke to them and pleased with them finally he shared with the gospel my friends this wonderful morning i want you and me especially you guys go touch the people touch the enemy territory go there bring what they lost challenge them saying lord i am here as a youngster you can say now father send me i am ready to go you may say pastor i can pray i can pray but i can't go some people will say i can go but i can't give let me tell you if you able to pray pray you able to spend more time to go go if you have time to give to god give how you can give generously generously you can say the word generously i am seeing a candy like a ground candy like malaysia in australia in different candies people are going for holidays holidays is fine you stop going this year <laughs> go next year this year i don't know how much money you spent last time take that money and put it in the box give it to your senior pastor give it to michael aya and give it to your senior and uh, mission pastor telling that pastor this is my contribution for the missions god will be pleased on that that act is very important don't think giving to god is saving giving to god is a beautiful act giving to god is now today you know what have been the result of this conversation between jesus christ as well as that samaritan woman jesus never perform any miracle there jesus went and saw himself he preached the good news the kingdom of god is near and number 2 he no longer they called him jesus in the very first dialogue the samaritan woman called jesus sir how are you sir and end of the conversation she called him 
savior of the world this is the first time that the title the savior of the world is used when referring to jesus and the title was given to him by the samaritan not by jews not by christians not by people with the pious no people whom not deserve for people is not liked for they have given the name to jesus savior of the world hallelujah you can say savior we love you so much savior who died for us savior thank you for your salvation i don't want to the people to go hell lord send me i am ready maybe the parents may say pastor i can't go let me tell you parents you can send your daughter or your sons to the mission field not only mission field if god have given a great call give them for the ministry give them for the ministry we need people because harvest is plenty laborers are few take a challenge lord i have four sons i will give one son to you for your service jesus i am praying that my son and daughter do the ministry do the ministry do the ministry now we are open open no company is open for me taking people you know after some time they closed but heavenly office the heavenly kingdom always open hey man we welcome you for the great bond up ministry join with us in the great missions join with your church come to india come to other nations let us see the smile of the people many time people go to pilgrimage you know they go to mecca and medina of course christian never goes to the particular place but we go jerusalem we spend lot of money and go and see rivers and dooms people died long back you go and see them and finally you say wow how beautiful spend so much of dollars so much of money i challenge you nothing will be happen when you go and come back you will say fine one week you talk about that sometime people bring the trumpet and they blow everywhere <laughs> wherever they go they take the trumpet and they blow fine i am not against for that more than that the urgency is come to india i will show the people talk to them please with them share the god the tears come from their eyes their smile that will bring you joy in your life i see you envelop love the lord touch lives touch life if you are loving god touch the life of many may god bless you god bless you